Hey everyone! How are you today? It's Monday. It's Monster Monday. And actually, do you know what else? Today's really cool. Today is episode 50. Episode 50 of my live at the studio videos, live from the studio videos, which is where you get to join me every day of the week uh, when I'm here in my studio working. Uh, some days I show you kind of in detail what I'm working on. Some days we do drawing, some days we do like story starters. Um, and on Mondays we do Monster Monday. And, uh, and I know now that like lots of kids are starting, in Australia are starting to go back to school, um, I know that there's lots of teachers that are using Monster Monday um, in class as kind of like warm up little exercise. So good for you. Um, enjoy doing Monster Monday. And if you're watching this in class, hello. Um, uh, people have been asking me on the subject of um, kids going back to school. I started this, this live from the studio video. I started this because we were all stuck at home and I wanted to create a space where you could come check in. Uh, I'd be here every day and, uh, and we could kind of stay connected a little bit while, um, while the virus stuff was all going on. Uh, and so people have been asking me, am I gonna keep going? Because obviously I'm making a video here every single day. Um, and I think I will. I think I will. If, uh, if you guys are enjoying it, uh, if you're kind of sharing it, if it's, if it's working, if, you can, if teachers can use it in schools, um, then let's just keep going. I don't, I don't know of any other authors or illustrators that do this, that kind of create a video from their studio every single day and kind of show you everything that's going on behind the scenes. Um, and, uh, and I think when I was at school, uh, I would have really, really liked that. So, so let's keep going. Let's keep going for a while and, uh, and see what happens. All right, now it is Monster Monday. It is Monster Monday, so you need a piece of paper and something to draw with. Now, today's Monster Monday, usually when I come to do Monster Monday, I've got a bit of an idea already, right? Like I've got an idea for like, let's create a character using a number, we've done that. Let's use, create characters out of our initials, we've done that. Uh, let's create characters out of scribbles, we've done that. Um, but sometimes, You've got no ideas. Sometimes you've got a blank piece of paper in front of you and no ideas. And today is that day for me. Okay, I have no idea what to do for Monster Monday. Uh, and so what I could have done was kind of spent time trying to work on it and come up with a good idea before I did the video. But I thought, you know what? This happens to you guys all the time. You're in class or uh, you've got to create something and you've got no ideas. So, uh, so let's just do it together. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna show you what I would do, what I will do, um, when I have no ideas. All right, let's do it together. Okay, so there it is, the blank piece of paper, the terrifying blank piece of paper. What are we gonna put on it? And I'm being serious, I have no idea, okay? Uh, but I know I've got to draw a monster. Okay, and I haven't planned anything and I don't have any kind of moments of inspiration. So here's what I'm gonna do. No idea how this is gonna work. Gonna okay. have... I am going to just draw a line. And I'm gonna look at this line and see if it gives me any ideas for a monster. Okay, it's making me think maybe I should do some kind of snaky kind of character maybe what if what if if that was the body actually no like that would be the body and that you could be a head there and that could be a snake but maybe maybe it would be more interesting if that was like the hair of the monster yeah let's do that so let's add another line in there Maybe it's like a big flick around here. And then let's do another flick around there. Oh, now that's in an interesting shape. Okay, so now let's go, let's put an eye under here and an eye under here. pupils in 
I still don't know what this is going to turn into. I still don't know if it's monster enough, but that doesn't matter. We're just working it out as we go. Sometimes with creativity, it's not about having the whole thing worked out in your head. Creativity is a process. Creativity is what happens when you start and see where it goes. Okay, so I like kind of how wonky this character is. Let's give them <laughs> like a kind of really funky nose. <laughs> like that. I like the kind of the idea that the nose kind of comes down there. All right, now, it uh, the risk here, I think, is that it's not going to be monster enough like. It's kind of weird person. So let's add some things that make it more monstery. Let's add some horns poking up out of the hair. Like that. Um, and then, what else could make it um, monster-like? Oh, what about like fangs, but not fangs from the top, fangs from the bottom. So if we put in like a lip, like that, and then like upward fangs, which always kind of make a character look more goofy, I think, rather than scary. <laughs> Hello. And then let's put a chin. All right, now. Okay, does this character have ears? No, I don't think they do, because that's gonna make them look more human and I want them to look a little bit less human at the moment. So let's, um, let's just have the side of the head coming down here like this. <laughs> now, <laughs> now it looks like a bull with a, a bull with a human nose with a wig on. <laughs> okay, what would make it even more monster-like? Oh, I don't know, but let's give it like, I, I feel like I want to give um, the monster like a frilly neck. Which might look ridiculous, but who cares? <laughs> um, and what I'm going to do today, I'm not going to do the whole whole body of the monster, okay? Because I think for this monster, the body would continue down here. But we might just leave it like that. And what will make it even more monster-like... Actually, let's do like some... Um, kind of skin spots. What'll make it even more kind of monster-like is um, if you color it and you color it like blue or green or pink or something. <laughs> I kind of like this character. This is so weird. Uh... I don't know what this is, it's just a shape and it just felt like it might look interesting. <laughs> Let's do some like whiskers on the chin. There we go, we have the weirdest character I think maybe I've ever seen. That was really fun. That was fun. Isn't that cool? Like. This character didn't come from planning anything, okay? This character didn't come from, like, having an idea. This character came from, like, a squiggle on a page. It was going to be a snake for a minute. And then it was like, no, let's try something different. And now we've got this kind of cool weirdo character that I could write stories about, that I could do all sorts of... I could make comics about. I could uh, get, like, plasticine or clay and make a sculpture of them. Um... I could come up with a game that the character kind of did. I could write a song for the character and create an entire Broadway musical about this character. Okay? That's how kind of fun and easy creativity is. You just kind of start and see where it goes. Now, of course, we could have done this and I created a character that I, like, really didn't like. So what? So what? Chuck it in the bin. Do it again. Do it different. Do a different squiggle. That's the whole point, right? 
your imagination, your creativity, it's powerful, it's fun, and it's super flexible, and it's like really, really easy to use. Cool, well I hope you have had fun on today's Monster Monday. And uh, I look forward to seeing you here tomorrow. All right, everyone, see ya, bye.